Coming up, a special mission for Read Across America Day. We have a high illiteracy rate um, in our region, and rather than complain in the bleachers, I'm going to work on the field. The touching way one teacher is giving every child a chance to succeed. One Pennsylvania County woman has made it her life mission to help children achieve their potential through reading. Every year on Dr. Seuss's birthday and Read Across America Day, Jennifer Williams gives away books to kids in her community. Her goal is to give away one million books. There are many kids in the area who live at or below the poverty line, but she says every child deserves a chance to succeed. Especially after the pandemic, students across the Commonwealth are still trying to make up for missed class time. Today, she gave books to students at Chatham Elementary. One fifth grader says he is grateful for the gift. Reading is a positive thing. You should always do it. It makes you smarter and makes you grow. So far, Williams has donated 123,071 books paid for with money from her own pocket. And to celebrate Read Across America Day, kids at Sontag Elementary in Rocky Mount had a virtual story time today with author Robert Vincent and his wife Kathy. Vincent read his book called From the Pocket of an Overcoat. That book is based on a true story of a cat named Max that was adopted by Vincent's son Matthew. The story touches on self-identity, acceptance, animal rescue, and adoption. The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 
Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice here locally things pretty quiet for us. Yes, we have some clouds around, maybe even a couple of breaks in the clouds, but the rain has yet to arrive. That will happen for us here over roughly the next three to five hours. Notice that by about 3 a.m. We'll have the chance for a little bit of rain in places like Withville, Independence and Hillsville. It's after 4 a.m. where the rain really starts to overspread the region. Best chance for rain at 8 a.m. will be in areas along and north of, say, Highway 460. So the highlands probably have the best chance for some rain at about 8 or 9 a.m. Then we may get a little bit of a break for a little while. I think late in the morning into the early afternoon, while there will still be a few showers, especially in areas east of the parkway, some of us will be getting a break. It's short lived. More rain, more thunderstorms then push in between roughly 3 p.m. and about 10 p.m. The best chance for stronger thunderstorms will be between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. By dinner time tomorrow, it's going to be pouring down rain in some of our backyards, and at that point in time, you will be hearing some rumbles of thunder. Okay, this is a system that's moving. Okay, it's not going to be here that long. By about 11, 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow evening, most if not all the rain is gone. Skies then clear out. Notice though, late Friday night into Saturday morning, we're going to start to see some snow showers, mainly staying in West Virginia, but every now and again, you could see a couple of flurries towards the highlands and also towards the New River Valley. Again, that's Saturday morning. Saturday morning will be a time frame for us where we see more sunshine east and more leftover cloud cover west. By lunchtime on Saturday, Everybody sees sunshine, even you folks in the mountains. So increasing sunshine for everybody on Saturday. Let's talk about those storm threats for tomorrow. The main threats are heavy rain, thunder and lightning and damaging wind. OK, however, I cannot rule out the possibility of a little hail and I cannot 100% rule out the possibility for a stray tornado. The threat is very low for a tornado, but that threat is not zero late afternoon into the early evening hours tomorrow, especially if you can warm up above, say, 60 degrees. And some of us will if you're south of that warm front. North of that warm front, temperatures may actually fall throughout the day tomorrow. The winds are not a factor for us right now. They're actually pretty calm. However, the winds strengthen for us tomorrow, tomorrow night into Saturday, such that ahead of the wind heading in our direction. We are looking at a wind advisory issued from the National Weather Service for these areas shaded in brown. This is basically for areas along and west of the parkway for the New River Valley, Roanoke and Highland Zone. This is where we could have gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour as we head into Friday night and Saturday morning. Down limbs will be possible. Spotty power outages cannot be ruled out. The winds are on the increase here over roughly the next 24 to 36 hours. Temperatures stand 41 in Hot Springs. It's 53 Roanoke, a little bit cooler in Lynchburg, 47, 52 Martinsville, 47 as we speak in Withville. For tonight, more rain develops after about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Overnight lows everywhere tonight in the 40s. Three day zone by zone forecast middle 50s for the next three days in the NRV. Your wettest day out of the next three without question is Friday in the Allegheny Highlands and in Southside tomorrow you could hit the 60s and then you're going to be in the upper 50s and lower 60s Saturday and Sunday for Lynchburg. You're going to have rain around Friday, but you're going to dry out. See more sunshine this weekend. Even Monday looks to be a really pretty day. Only a few showers are possible Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week under partly sunny skies and across the Roanoke Valley. We are in the 50s Friday, Saturday, 60s return Sunday, Monday, 70 on Tuesday before we fall into the upper 40s and lower 50s one week from today. Today we forecast a high of 72. The actual high was 65. No money in the pot so far for the Advancement Foundation. Let's change that tomorrow.